Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at this charger. This is a MyBoxer C4 charger. I've had this a while and um, it didn't actually work for that long to be honest with you. Before I started getting issues with uh, sometimes it would you put in a uh, standard sort of double A AA or triple A cell and it would be telling you that the voltage is four volts. Um, yeah, um, so it only seems that one or two of the um, charging slots actually work properly. So let's uh, pop it apart and uh, see what we find inside. Talking of finding things inside, why not go and check out PCBWay? PCBWay are currently celebrating their fifth anniversary. SMT prototype boards assembled from just $30 along with savings of up to 25% off flex rigid and flex boards, up to 30% off advanced PCBs. Check them out in the description below. Okay, so I do have to admit I have had this apart as such. Um, I unscrewed most of it a while back and uh, had one that I had to drill out, so I have uh, done that already today. The screws I'm removing now are not the original screws. Um, yeah, something about taking things apart um, quite a while back, and I can't remember where I put the screws. <laughs> yes, if we get it working again properly, we need to dig out those screws, if I can figure out where exactly I've put them. Right, so let's uh, see if we can pop this apart. Right, so there we are. So, looks of it, we've got a power supply board here, and then all the other control circuitry for charging is on this board here. Right, so I don't think the power supply board is going to be an issue. I think we've got an issue on one of the main boards in there, so we'll get rid of that and put that to the side. Now, these are uh, little contacts, that spring's fallen off. These don't seem to be very well made, to be honest with you. They yeah, sort of sit in the groove. You can kind of see where they just hook the spring through. So you've got the ends of the springs there. And these don't want to stay in their place at all. As you can see, then the spring comes off again. So, yeah, it's not ideal. Uh, yeah, right, we'll worry about that later. Let's uh, whip this screw out here. Now I can't remember if there was a battery that I had in this that maybe leaked at the time. I'm not too sure. Uh, so it could be that we had a battery leak and that's caused a problem. Okay, I see this is going to be fun. Oh. Yeah, you see what I mean. All right, that's one spring uh, recovered. I think we might be better, I don't know. Do we need to take all these springs out? All right, so we've got a connector here, which goes through to the display board. So I think we can uh, remove that one. And uh, yeah, that's better. And flip this over. Oh, oh yes. All right, let me bring you in a little bit closer and I think we can see the problem. Yes, well, would you look at that? Uh, yes, I think it may have been that I did have a battery that leaked. You can see that the uh, terminal is uh, quite sort of dirty there, but there certainly seems like a lot of uh, gunk and corrosion on this board. The rest of the board looks okay, so it doesn't look like anything's particularly uh, gone up in smoke or anything, but I think we're going to have to clean that off with some IPA and uh, have a closer look once we've done that. So let me go and uh, get some cotton buds and we'll give that a clean. Okay, so we've got an old toothbrush and we've got uh, cotton buds. I'm going to try with the uh, toothbrush. Let's get some more on here. And we'll just give this a good brush. Certainly looks like this has done a fair amount of damage, to be honest with you. A lot of uh, corrosion on here. And uh, yeah, the solder mask 
uh, is actually coming off everywhere as you can see so this has been uh, eating away at it for uh, some time all right let me uh, carry on with that and I'll come back to you when I've got it a bit cleaner okay so I've given that a good clean I've used a combination of IPA and uh, flux uh, sort of very liquidy flux uh, and then washed off with IPA to try and break down some of that corrosion it is still pretty bad um, to be honest with you everything looks very very filthy and uh, yeah there's no sort of nice shiny silver colors at any of the joints or anything now the problem is we don't know if anything's actually got fried on this part I'm not sure I mean since I think it's only one or two of these slots that don't work correctly. Um, I think, funny enough, I think it's the first one and this one. So these two must be sharing something together. Um, the fourth slot works, and that one is used for uh, discharge measurement as well as charge. So what I'm thinking is, would it be worth maybe using some gel flux and uh, just trying to reflow these uh, components um, they're a bit too small to be getting a soldering iron in there and trying to manually touch them up so I'm just wondering if trying to reflow it could that maybe help if there's any bad joints or not so uh, yeah I think I'll give that a go let's get some uh, gel flux on uh, heat it up and uh, see if it looks any better all right that is covered in a load of gel flux get the uh, Hot air on. <coughs> um, mm. I'll just do 380. Uh, slowish airflow, and uh, we'll see how we get on. So this gel flux is not very gel-like. It's more goopy, and then it goes better. So we're just gonna heat that up. And just see if that will help at all. Probably gonna run off the edge of the board and create even more mess, but. Uh, it is what it is. Okay, let's let that cool down. I'm not actually sure that any of those components did actually reflow. Uh, I think that some of the smaller ones might have, but this uh, diode pack here didn't really uh, didn't really budge when I tried tapping it. And uh, yeah, need to uh, get some more uh, tweezers. I seem to have uh, misused these ones, and they've uh, <laughs> bent out the wrong way at the end. So uh, that's no good. All right, let's let that cool down. Give it a clean with some IPA, and then we'll have another look. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it's really done much. Maybe a little bit, but I don't think it's done much at all. Um, I guess it's a lot, uh, a lot better than it was when we first uh, opened it up. But uh, yeah, I don't think there's much more we can do on that. So it's really eating away at things. Um, so even the solder mask has, has literally just started coming off as soon as we tried to clean it. Um, yeah, interesting. So. Yeah, I guess the next stage is just to uh, get it back together again, uh, probably with whatever screws I can find that will hold it together and uh, see if it makes any difference. But uh, yeah, it may be, uh, may be heading for the scrap heap. So now the battle begins. Can we get this back together in any way, shape or form? Okay, let's try and get that connected back in for the screen. So it was quite a good little charger, but uh, yeah, it didn't last very long. I think it most definitely must have been a uh, a cell that I put in that leaked. By the looks of it. All right, that pops in there. We've got a spring has come off this one. Yeah, I don't like this arrangement very much at all. So you've got to hook this through. It's a little bit there and get that on there that one's on, this one's come off here so let's get that one on right, is that them all in place? seems to be okay so just uh, a bit of IPA just 
wipe down the back of this board. A load of flux or a solder in those grooves, so I'm going to need to uh, remove that first. Let's right, just use some uh, kitchen towel. I think it must be a uh, flux or a. No, that's IPA. I did kind of uh, just tip it all over it, <laughs> flooded it. So, easiest thing to do. Alright, that's most of that out of there. Right, so we need... This is the uh, screw that um, I had to drill out. I don't know. I was wondering if... This is where it all falls apart on me again now. If I can uh, get that undone with a pair of pliers. Doesn't look like it. I think that will have to, yeah. Now that one ain't gonna come out, so I have to leave, leave that one there. So, power supply board, and uh, this is looking a bit mucky at the back. Brush that off. Right, so let's connect this up. So this is where it's all going to fly apart on me again. Uh, power supply connects there. It's quite nice having this uh, little modular power supply board. Quite like that design. So it's got to pop in there. It has, uh, yeah, all these little rubber feet are supposed to go there, but all the uh, little screws I seem to have are. Uh, too big so yeah lesson learned there don't take things apart and then uh, forget about them for ages because you uh, end up losing all your screws but yeah I mean if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't it's not the uh, <coughs> excuse me it's not the end of the world um, is this one gonna do up no we're gonna need something deeper for that I mean, the original screws must be somewhere, surely. They probably ended up going back in something else. And uh, yeah, some other product has got the wrong screws. Oh dear, first world problems, eh? The reason I bought this one was because they had the, uh, the four bays and it had the uh, discharge function, which I thought was useful to have to uh, check capacities of cells. But, uh, yeah, let's see, will this little one work? I think this little one is one of the originals. Oh dear. Yeah, that one go in there. And what about these two in the middle? Um, I think we'll just have to use whatever we've got. So I think without that, those spring contacts might suddenly fly apart and that one's not going to work let's try that one try one of these yeah this is not ideal so i'm not going to be able to make use of our rubber feet anymore but uh, if it holds it together and it works good if it doesn't it doesn't it wasn't very expensive in the first place, this one. Right, that's it back together. I think we'll uh, just give this a bit of a clean in there and we'll uh, turn it on and see what happens. Okay, so that's uh, a little bit cleaned up. Let's check that our uh, springs are working. That one feels a little bit bent, that one. So I dare not try and bend it in a case like that. That will not go well, I'm sure. Right, let's grab ourselves a power lead and plug it in. Right, when it's come on, 
Let's try some cells. Let's try day one. Not detecting anything on that one. Let's try a smaller cell. Yeah, so bay one seems to be completely dead. Let's try it, bay two. Oh, hang about, that one's. All right, maybe bay one's not dead then. Let's uh, try another cell in that one, try a different position on it. Very temperamental. No, that's still, yeah, I think I think slot number one is uh, definitely had it. So slot number two is charging. It's 800 milliamps, says lithium ion 4.2 volts. And it's measuring the voltage correctly. So it looks like slot two is okay. So which slot was the problem? Was it two or three? Uh, yeah, with the board reverse, it was slot two, wasn't it, I think. Um, let's try slot three. Uh, slot three, maybe that was the one we were problems with then. Yeah, see there, it's just switching between error. Uh, sorry, the uh, I'll turn those lights off. Keeps alternating there. And let's try slot four. One four is it going to detect it? Yep, I think so. Uh, yep, I should climb up to eight hundred and start dropping off. All right, so it looks like we haven't solved anything, but we certainly know uh, what's happened there. So it looks like slots two and four are usable. But uh, slot three is, uh, yep, just error. And slot one doesn't do anything. Well, we haven't fixed it, but I guess we've uh, cleaned it up so it shouldn't get any worse. But uh, yeah, whether or not I bother using this anymore, I don't know. I haven't been using it at all since uh, it started going wrong. And uh, I've got a uh, Nightcore one, which I use most of the time anyway. Uh, but I just like the uh, discharge feature on this one. Um, what I want really is something that can take two or four cells, but do a discharge test on all of them. Uh, that would be a lot better. So there we are. Well, we've had a look and uh, it's not fixed, but it's no worse. So if you like the video guys, please do give it a big thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and uh, links to Patreon are uh, in the description below. Please do consider heading over there and uh, donating as little as $1 a month to uh, help me out in my uh, future videos. Cheers guys.